Ten up for the list, and Toomey's up. Good morning, Toomey. Good to see you guys. Hey, what was your favorite lunchbox, real quick? Uh, of the ones just shown, or of all time? Of all time that I you had. I had uh, an aluminum uh, Masters of the Universe lunchbox, uh. in, lunchbox <laughs> in kindergarten, which worked out well when I got into a lunchbox fight with Chris Ooh. Roman in kindergarten, because he had a plastic one, oh, those and are he great. popped oh, yeah. me with yeah. that, but that just bounced right yeah. off me, and I came with the overhand left with Masters of the Universe, <laughs> yeah. and that wow. was over. <laughs> Got a call home to school that day, but uh, otherwise it worked out well for me. My parents were late to the game. I had a Dick Cavett lunchbox, <laughs> which was super popular. Uh, <laughs> all right, here's what we're going to talk about. We mentioned Bill Veck earlier, and yeah. Bill Veck was famous for promotions. So we're going to talk about some promotions and stadiums that didn't go as well as planned. Now, we all know all right. Steve Dahl and Disco Demolition that happened here on the south side. That takes number one, so we're not even going to talk about it. Here are some of the runners up, okay? First one, ball night, August 10th, 1995. <laughs> 53,000 fans. What could go wrong, right? 53,000 fans in Los Angeles turned out to watch the Dodgers take on the Cardinals. They were each given a free oh. baseball. In the seventh inning, some bored fans <laughs> began littering the field with the free balls. And after a six-minute delay to clean things up, the game moved on. Then we moved to the bottom of the ninth. The Dodger player ejected. Time for round two. More balls on <laughs> oh, the field. Oh, no. Hundreds of them. <laughs> oh, no. Now, manager Tommy Lasorda is ejected. Any baseballs left were now hurtled towards the field. And the result of this, a forfeit victory for the visiting Cardinals. <laughs> <laughs> on to the next one. This one also involves the Dodgers. They pulled it off in uh, 2007. They introduced all-you-can-eat seats. Oh, oh fantastic. Oh. Now, <laughs> they decided to promote obesity by opening up a section Seats where you could eat until you, you know, as much as you wanted, all you can eat. Ticket prices range from twenty to forty dollars. Turns out not everybody can handle infinite hot dogs and nachos, despite the unthinkable oh. task of cleaning up after multiple in-game hurlings. Oh. The Dodgers declared the promotion a success. They celebrated <laughs> the second highest attendance in baseball. And believe it or not, other organizations reached out to the Dodgers about putting together a glut fest of their Is own. Is that still going on or no? Does I anybody still do that? It's still happening. They're that's still fa there. That's a <laughs> fantastic deal. Of 40 bucks for that? Yeah, more than A hot dog's like $12. Keep them coming. Man. How about May 20, 1977? The scuffling Atlanta Braves, on their way to a 101 loss season, came up with baseball's first, and not surprisingly last, <laughs> Wet T-shirt <laughs> contest. No. Oh no! Crowd Abba, of, Abba. A crowd of 11,451, believe it or not, mostly male in attendance, <laughs> showed up to watch the Braves take on the Cubs. Now, mid-game, the Braves announced that the registration for the contest was underway, and after the Cubs beat the Braves 13-4, the contest was on. 40 contestants in all. Proud winner, said to be the daughter of a Methodist minister. Oh, no. Her dad was super proud with the uh, trophy that she brought home that day. Here's the last one, and I saved this one for last because I think it's the best. Yeah. Ten Cent Beer Night. <laughs> June 4th, 1974, the Cleveland Indians came up with the idea to double their attendance. Beer, which was normally 80 cents back then, marked down for a dime a cup, okay? Some of the highlights included streakers running wildly through the park, a father and son team mooning the players, and fans jumping on the field to meet and shake hands with the outfielders. Then, wow. bottom of the ninth, fans threw batteries, golf oh. balls, cups, oh. and rocks onto the field. Good time had by all. <laughs> Another victory to the visitors by forfeit. And there you have some of the greatest failed promotions. If Ooh. I may add uh, one more, not necessarily yeah that much of a novel idea but the Yankees used to do bat day and uh, they used to hand out they used to hand out full-sized bats wow. and if you know anything about Ooh. the Bronx in the mid 80s not the best yeah, place to be handing idea. thousands of people full-size bats after 12 beers so that was a short-lived one as well but well done Michael Thank that was a great much. list we were going to do more uh, souvenirs and uh, and merch, but we've run out. Yeah. But uh, the good news is Mike is going to hang out for another half hour and just give out hugs yeah, to anybody absolutely. who wants to come by. Bring them uh, on. So that's it for us.